I think the horse has bolted. Really, it's just difficult to, to give that advice that will stem the problem right now. Uh, uh, let, let me start by saying this was a predictable problem in the sense that um, when, you're, when you're a country whose uh, revenues are largely dependent on hydrocarbons or on minerals, right? Um, you stand the risk of the effects of the cyclicality, right, of the pricing um, of, uh, of your minerals. Uh, in, in this case, let's focus on oil. Because um, basically you are part of a global industry. So there are many events that, that occur in the global economy, right, that could impact the pricing, right, of that mineral that you are so dependent on, which is why you must always prepare for that day. The day always comes. So, in my lifetime, I've seen shocks in 1973, shocks in 79, 84. Um, again, there was another shock in the 90s. Uh, when we were, when I got into office in 2015, we were just at um, a very low price uh, scenario, right? So, this is not the first time. So, this is eminently predictable, right? So, as a country, you've got to basically prepare your buffers. A first buffer, right, is what sensible countries do, right? Is they have a fund, they put money away. They put money away for this kind of day. And the question is, where, where is our fund? Our fund's gone. We've had, never really had one, really, right? The one we claim to have something, but it's nothing. No way that produces less oil than we do has a trillion dollars in this, in this fund, right? So that's, that's what countries do to protect themselves. Secondly, we ought to have taken a closer look, right, on the cost of our oil production. And those are some of the things we were seeking to do um, when I was in office, to bring oil production costs down. Now, just one of the highest cost environments as far as oil production is concerned. Right? A lot of it artificial. So we were busy trying to introduce, um, you know, some fiscal tools to basically encourage or incentivize producers to bring their costs down. Unfortunately, um, nothing's happened uh, because uh, the measures we tried to introduce were basically sabotaged and we didn't have the attention of those whose responsibility it is right, to ensure that all we're seeking to do was actually done. So, because if costs go down, that means there's more revenue, right? To, not just to the state, but even to, to our partners, right? But if you don't keep the cost down, right, then basically, all that could have gone to the state goes this other way, right? So, so that's the lesson for tomorrow, right? It's a bit late now because the problem has happened. So that's something to also think of. Then the overall question of governance of the industry, to just, to just make it more efficient. The industry is hugely, hugely inefficient. I can tell you, I can tell you stories about pipelines, right, that are 20, 30 years past their rated life and are leaking like a sieve. And pipelines leak, crude oil seeps out or is stolen. And that's a big loss, big revenue loss. So what is the state of our regulation, right, of our oil infrastructure? I'm not going to, I'm not talking about electricity yet, but that's, we got all in the context of energy, right? But it's not just focusing right now on oil, right? But when you just focus purely on oil regulation, right? 
our regulatory system is too weak, right? And doesn't seem to be sufficiently connected, right, to our overall political economy. You're in a country with a galloping population, right, whose revenues are too sensitive, right, to, to its growth, right? And you have regulatory agencies, right, that must keep watch to make sure that we don't have revenue leaks. We need to strengthen those agencies. They're very good in those agencies, but they need support. So we need, we need basically sector reform, regulatory reform. And that's all that, that brings us to the very big issue of petroleum, <laughs> the petroleum industry legislation, which is 20 years old. Due. How does it take a country 20 years to reform its legislation? It's just, it's just, just shocking. So if some of these things can be done, done on time, right? Then we would have been ready for this day. That was sure to come. Now these are some of the issues.